Right, we got a super interesting video today. I can't wait for this one. We got the Fermi Paradox. Where are all the aliens? I love space, love aliens. Uh, well, the thought of aliens anyway. Can't wait to jump into this video. Let's go, man. This is part one out of two. So part two will be straight after this video. So make sure you check it out on the channel. The link will also be in the description as well to part two. Let's check it out, man. Are we the only living things in Hell the no. entire universe? The observable universe is Hell about no. 90 billion light years in diameter. There are at least 100 billion galaxies, each with 100 to 1,000 billion Bro, stars. That alone, there's, it's literally impossible that we are the only like living things on the planet, uh, well, uh, in the universe. Th th there's no way. Uh, like, bro, 100 billion. A hundred billion galaxies, billion galaxies, not planets, gal- bro, there's Recently, no way. We've learned that planets are very common too, and there are probably trillions and trillions of habitable planets in the universe, yeah. which means Mad. there should be lots of opportunity for life to develop and exist, right? But where is it? Shouldn't the universe be teeming with spaceships? Let's take a step back. Actually, man, there's definitely life out there, 100%. Even if there are alien civilizations in other galaxies, there's no way we'll ever know about them. Basically, everything outside of our direct galactic neighborhood, the so-called local group, is pretty much out of our reach forever. That's because of the expansion so of the shit. universe. Even if we had really fast spaceships, it would literally take billions of years to reach these places, traveling through the emptiest areas in the universe. So, let's focus on the Milky Way. The Milky Way is our home galaxy. It consists of up to 400 billion stars. That's a lot of stars. Yeah, that's Counting still a one lot. per second, it that would take you a hundred lot. lifetimes to count them all. There are about wow. 20 billion sun-like stars in the Milky Way, and estimates suggest that a fifth of them have an Earth-sized planet in its habitable zone, wow. the area with conditions that enable life to exist. If only 0.1% of those planets harbored life, there would be one million planets with life in the Milky Way. Bro, what the oh, wait, fuck? wait, there's more. The Milky Way is about 13 billion years old. In the beginning, it would not have been a good place for life because things exploded a lot. But after one to two billion years, the first habitable planets were born. Earth is only four billion years old, so there have probably been trillions of chances for life to develop on other planets in the past. If only a single one of them had developed into a space-traveling super-civilization, we would have noticed by now. What would such a civilization look like? There are three categories. A Type 1 civilization would be able to access the whole energy available on its planet. In case you're wondering, we're currently around 0.73 on the scale, and we should reach Type 1 sometime in the next couple of hundred years. Wait, what the type fuck is Type 2 would be a civilization capable of harnessing all of the energy of its home star. This would require some serious science fiction, but it is doable wow. in principle. Concepts like the Dyson Sphere, a giant complex surrounding the sun, would be conceivable. Wow. Type 3 is a civilization that basically controls its whole galaxy and its energy. An alien race this advanced would probably be godlike to us. But why should we be able to see such an alien civilization in the first place? If we were to build generation spaceships that could sustain a population for around 1,000 years, we could colonize the whole galaxy in 2 million years. Sounds like a long time, but remember, the Milky Way is huge. So if it takes a couple of million years to colonize the entire galaxy, and there are possibly millions, if not billions, of planets that sustain life in the Milky Way, and these other life forms have had considerably more time than we've had, then where are all the aliens? Yeah, but like, the, like they might not be at that stage yet. You know what I mean? The, the, there's definitely aliens out there, 100%, right? 100%. But like, they don't have to be a super race yet. You know what I mean? They don't have to be. This is the Fermi Paradox, and nobody has an answer to it. There's no but way there's not other life out there. Let's talk about filters. A filter in this context represents a barrier that is really hard for life to overcome. They come in various degrees of scary. One, there are great filters, and we have passed them. Maybe it is way harder for complex life to develop than we think, 
The process allowing life to begin hasn't yet been completely figured out, and the conditions required may be. Yeah, really it's actually crazy how, like, you know how it, it was like, oh, the Earth was born like four billion years ago, but then, like, how did life start? Do you know what I mean? How? Like, what was the very point of like how you know what i'm saying like how is life just poof there complicated maybe in the past the universe was way more hostile and only recently have things cooled down to make complex life possible this would also mean that we may be unique or at least one of the first if not the first civilization in the entire universe crazy Two, there are great filters and they are ahead of us what's mad is like we could be the super eight you know how we're talking about here the super alien race right we could be the super alien race that's crazy man and there's gonna be like there's gonna be like some you know some alien life out there this you know just started right you know they're hitting rocks bashing rocks they get to the point where they got telescopes and then boom they see us crazy man that, that'd be mad That'd this one would be really, really bad. It's so fucking Maybe cool. Maybe life on our level exists everywhere in the universe, but it gets destroyed when it reaches a certain point, a point that lies ahead of us. Yeah, For like example, people killing awesome each other future technology exists, nukes but when activated, shit. it destroys the planet. The last words of every advanced civilization would be, this new device will solve all of our problems mm -hmm. once I push this button. If this is true, then we are closer to the end than the beginning of human existence. Or maybe there is an ancient Type 3 civilization that monitors the universe, and once a civilization is advanced enough, it gets eliminated in an instant. What? Maybe there is something out there that it would be better not to discover. There is no way for us to know. One final thought, maybe we're alone. Right now, we have no evidence that there's any life besides us. Nothing. The universe appears to be empty and dead. No one sending us messages, no one answering our calls. We may be completely alone, trapped on a Bro, it's scary to think about that, isn't it? Like, it's scary to actually think and look how big the universe is and we're just by ourselves. That's really, like, look, like, even though we're not lonely because, like, there's, you know, 8 billion people on this planet, it's lonely as fuck knowing it we could be we're definitely not by the way but we could be the only people on a planet you know you know only living people on a planet in the whole entire universe that's universe lonely does that thought spot. scare you if it does you're having the correct emotional reaction if we let life on this planet die perhaps yeah literally that's no what i was just left saying. in the universe life will be gone maybe forever if this is the case, we just have to venture to the stars and become the first Type 3 civilization to keep the yes. fame of life existing and to spread it until the universe... First of all, first of all, we need cryotech to work so I can store my body in a freezer and they can bring me out whenever we get to this point. Please, thank you. ...breathes its final breath and vanishes into oblivion. The universe is too beautiful not to be experienced by someone. This video was made really, possible really, by really, your... really, really good video. Enjoyed that one. We're going to jump straight into uh, part two of this. And so make sure you check it out. It'll be on my channel straight after this video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you do leave a thumbs up. Make sure you do subscribe. And I'll see you guys in part two.